Hello once again, everybody. I'm Jake Lucci, and welcome to my video coaching newsletter. The title of today's video coaching newsletter is College Recruiting Friends. Friends will stick with you till the very end, as long as they are true friends. And of course, when it comes to the recruiting process, we want to make sure that we are surrounding ourselves with people that we can trust, people that we can count on, and of course, people that are going to help us achieve the goals that we have set out for ourselves which is, of course, to earn a college scholarship. And so today, the video coaching newsletter is focused on the friends. And the reason we want to do that is because we want to know who is going to help us in the recruiting process and who is going to take us off track. And so when we're talking about those that we surround ourselves with, this is an extremely important part of the recruiting process. And that's why you always have to be aware of the people that you're surrounding yourself with, just like in life. It's very important to be self-aware of those that you're surrounding yourself with. And if these are not good people, then of course, they should not be considered part of your friend group when it comes to your college recruiting and scholarship process. Number one, identify friends early. So many prospects wait till their junior or senior year. And then what happens is, is they start to try to find friends and find people that they can rely on and count on, but they are only surface level relationships. And those, and those coaches and those trainers and, and the people around you that are really wanting to help you, you'll be able to identify those friends early. And if you can identify them, and as long as they're telling you the truth and giving you honest feedback, these are the types of people that you want to keep around. So identify your college recruiting friends early in the college recruiting process. Secondly, value honest feedback. Just because you like a coach or you like the way that someone makes you feel, does not necessarily mean that they are providing honest feedback. And so when you're selecting your friends throughout your college recruiting process, ensure that you're receiving honest feedback. If we receive honest feedback, we'll be able to make the adjustments that we need to quicker, and it'll be coming from the source of a college recruiting friend, which we know if we trust this person, unless they give us another reason not to trust them, that we are... Uh, not only va evaluating their feedback, but we're making sure that as a college recruiting friend, you're giving me honest feedback. We don't want to just have someone that makes us feel good. We want someone that's going to be truthful and honest uh, with with our prospects, with our families, and of course, um, with w when it comes to our own recruiting process as a prospect. It's so important to make sure you're getting honest feedback. So pay attention to those people that are giving you questionable feedback. Lastly, keep your circle small. Be aware of people with agendas. And when it comes to your marketing process, the marketing of your recruiting process, make sure you surround yourself with good friends that actually know how to market you. Just because a coach is really good at teaching hitting or a trainer is really good at teaching speed work does not mean that they're an expert when it comes to the college recruiting process. Some people, coaches and trainers know college coaches, but the question is, can they, can they get those college coaches to make a decision based on their evaluation? And there are hundreds of college programs. And so what you want to do is you want to make sure that the friends that you have in the college recruiting process aren't necessarily just other parents, aren't necessarily just other coaches. You want to get a, a team around you if you can, especially if you can have a college recruiting advisor or if you can have a team that's pumping out a good post of you on social media to make sure college coaches know who you are and have updated information. That's how that's how you get the most out of your money. Of course, club fees are important and and attending workouts around the country sure that 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 those definitely are important respecting your high school coach is important but making sure that you're doing the right things and the most being the most efficient with your time and with and with your money that's what's most important so always surround yourself with friends in the college recruiting process but always be aware of those that are just looking to add another prospect to their club team that are not giving you honest feedback and that uh, just make you feel good because they're in a position of power don't necessarily give 
the respect to people just because they're in positions of power. Make sure that you do your own evaluation to make sure that this person is a good person. This is a friendly person in your process and, and you can communicate with them in an honest way. So that way you have the best chance to find your way to the scholarship uh, uh, of your choice, hopefully to a target school and hopefully to a program that you're really excited about attending. So it's always important to make sure that you're paying attention to who are your friends during the college recruiting process and being able to identify them early and always making sure to keep that circle small. There are a lot of people out there that that don't have your best, um, uh, they, they don't have the best in mind for you. They don't um, necessarily always want the best for you because you're a victim of volume. There are a lot of prospects out there searching for scholarships and some people that you thought were your friends end up not being your friends. And so you don't want to put all your eggs in one basket with one coach or two coaches. You want to have several people that you can that you can talk to about this process and what to do to advance the process to get in front of the right coaches to hopefully earn a, a scholarship to a target school. And how you do that is by talking to people and by making new friends in the college recruiting process. This, this business is about relationships. It's about people, but it's also about authenticity. And too many times throughout the last 10 years, I've seen people that don't want to be authentic. And those are, those are not good. Those are, as we call college recruiting reds. We want to make sure that we focus on uh, having a, as many college recruiting friends around us because it's going to help make the process that much easier. This has been another college recruiting video coaching newsletter. Of course, if you need help in your college recruiting process, visit our newly revamped website at luchiprospectgroup.com. We have so many great things going on at LPG, including opportunities for parents and prospects to find help in their college recruiting process and, and do what they need to do to make sure to market themselves properly online and to increase their digital footprint. And of course, all of at LPG are as, as you like to call college recruiting friends. And until next time, I'm Jake Lucci. I'll talk to you soon.